Hi. So we all know that a lot of people these days are suffering from COVID-19 and there are so many cases these days of people suffering from corona. Few common symptoms that we know about are, you know, loss of smell and taste, cough and fever. But there are few symptoms that people are not even aware about. And one such very common symptom is hair fall. So you got it right. COVID-19 and hair fall is actually connected. And I am here today, Dr. Manjot, MD Dermatologist, to tell you how it's related, how to identify it, and if you're suffering from it, what you can do about it. So the type of hair fall that we get with COVID-19 is known as telogen effluvium. Now this is also known as common hair shedding in layman's term. So what exactly is telogen effluvium? To understand this better, you need to know that our hair goes through a hair cycle. So anagen is the proliferation phase when the hair is actually growing. Catagen is the involution phase when it's actually getting smaller and shrinking. And telogen is the resting phase when it's actually doing nothing. So what happens when you know you fall ill or when you're very stressed or your hormones go haywire or sometimes you know it's just environmental like suppose there's a death in the family or you changed your residence so there's a lot of change in your food and drinking habits and water and that's when your hair suffers a shock. This shock results in all the hair that was there in anagen shifting to telogen and it starts shedding. So this is exactly what happens in COVID-19. Your hair goes through a shock and that's when all the hair that was in anagen shifts to telogen and starts shedding. So how are you going to identify it? You're going to notice that when you brush your hair or maybe after a head wash, you're having at least 20% of hair loss. So as a dermatologist, what we do is, is a hair pull test. In this, we take a very tiny bunch of hair and tuck on it, like there, that's it. And when you try to pull the hair out, we actually count how much hair sheds. And if it is 20% of the entire bunch of hair that we had in our fingers, then we call it like the hair pull test is positive or the patient is actually suffering from telogen effluvium. So this is how we identify it. And you can identify it, but actually looking at the amount of hair loss that is there. If it's not normal, and if you feel your hair is coming out from the roots, you know, we usually, a lot of women come with big strands of hair. They sometimes even come to me. They come with a bag full of hair and they say, Itne baal jhad rahe hai. So, you know, that's how we identify, ke, yes, this could be telogen effluvium. So, if you're suffering from these symptoms, maybe you're getting it because of COVID or because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. Now, a very interesting fact with this is, this problem of telogen effluvium has been known since the 1960s. It's not something new. It's just that it started occurring severely now with COVID-19. So, why is it occurring so strongly with this COVID-19? What happens in COVID-19 is your oxygen levels drop. We all know that uh, due to Corona, you know, the oxygen level falls and we're supposed to monitor our SpO2. What happens in this is, if our oxygen level drops at our hair root level also, like on our skin, on the scalp, at the hair root, if our oxygen level drops there too, that's when the hair loss gets even more extreme. Now, this was a study done in 2013, where it was proved that localized hypoxia, that means when there is localized less distribution of oxygen near the hair root follicle that hair sheds so if you are looking at you know why it's happening these are a few causes how these two conditions are so related and if you are suffering from these problems and want to know how you can correct it and what you can do about it stay tuned and if you are suffering from telogen effluvium due to a covid-19 infection that you had in the past maybe 3 to 6 months these are a few things you can do to help your hair fall. First, maintain a good diet. It's extremely important to control your diet, to have a healthy diet and, you know, not be deficient in any nutrients. Secondly, 
supplementation so if you are deficient you need to take multivitamins you need to take iron you need to take vitamin d you need to take b12 vitamins you need to take biotin and as many vitamins as possible because you're trying to get out of this shock loss that your hair is going through thirdly avoid damage to your hair avoid chemical treatments avoid hair coloring avoid hair straightening blow drying avoid hair wax hair gel treat your hair with TLC tender loving care respect them don't try to you know keep brushing them and maybe you know applying lot of oil and massaging them that is not going to help your hair fall fourthly use mild products use sulfate free shampoos use mild you know daily shampoos and daily conditioners and that's what is going to protect your hair and lastly if nothing helps please visit a dermatologist because we can give some additional therapies which is going to help you recover faster from this hair loss and before i conclude do remember that the hair fall that you're getting because of covid-19 is a temporary hair loss it is not something that's permanent and it usually recovers within 6 to 9 months but if it still persists after that you definitely need to start getting treated from a dermatologist so it's best to stay alert to get early treatment and to not stress too much about it because it's just going to increase your hair fall again so be cautious about telogen effluvium and remember it is a symptom of post covid infection thanks